Hey YouTube, it's Erin and I am the Handbag Housewife and I'm back again with another video. Today's video is going to be an unboxing video. I've had just a few of these lately. This is actually from an online retailer and I'm going to kind of keep this one under wraps. I don't want everybody to know about it, but if you are truly interested in buying a St. Laurent handbag, send me a DM on Instagram. You can reach me there. My name there is the at symbol, then the handbag housewife, all lowercase, or you can email me at the handbag housewife at gmail.com. But basically some of their prices are lower than what the current retail is. And then they have at minimum an extra 10% off your first purchase. And I called because I had found a coupon that was called thank you that was for 30% off. And when I called them, they actually gave me a 20% off coupon. The price that they had on this bag was around I believe $650 to $700 cheaper than the current retail. And then I got a 20% off of that. And I didn't have to pay tax because the business I believe is based in California and I'm not in California. So I am going to open this up and show you what's inside here in just a second, I promise. But I do want to show you one bag that's two. One bag and one SLG that I have for sale. If you don't know what SLG is, it's small leather good. I still have this cute little card holder for sale. I said I wanted to get $45 for it. I'm going to drop it by $10. If you want this, it's $35. And it'll cost me probably $5 to ship it to you. So that leaves me with $30. I'm taking a huge loss. But I just want to clear out some additional space in my closet. Even though this is teeny tiny. The other item I decided to sell, even though I wore it the other day and did like it with the strap, I think it's just too bright of a color for me, is this Petunia Willow Saddlebag. Now, I no longer have the mint green web strap that it came with. Actually, I believe the color was pistachio, but I have this gorgeous leather strap. And I also, and this is something that's awesome, have an insert that was custom made by Green Tag Inserts, and it fits like a dream. And I believe those are over $30, I think. I mean, don't quote me on that. Somewhere between $20 and $40, let's say they're really reasonably priced compared to the competition, but you would be getting that insert for free with this bag and the dust bag and this strap. And the only thing that's not included is this little Rexy I have hanging there. I'm gonna take him off. But look how cute that bag is. Every time I try it on, I think, no, Erin, you gotta keep it. And then I remember, and I keep telling myself this, that bright pink is just not for me. I love it. I do have a color of a long shot bag called Peony Pink. And that color, I think it's just a little bit better pink. I'm looking up at it for me than Petunia, but Petunia is gorgeous. It's like a Barbie pink. It's amazing. So don't sleep on this. It's $195 and that includes the insert and these retail for $375 plus tax. And of course it doesn't have that strap, but the insert makes up for half of that. So that is what's for sale. Just send me a DM on Instagram or email me and I take Zelle, Cash App, PayPal Friends and Family, or Venmo Friends and Family because now they have a goods and services option and I don't wanna take that. Now what you've all been waiting for, what's in the box? Now this retailer, they sent me this item with two boxes inside of a bigger box because I have another unboxing from the same outer box. So that's why I've got the two inner boxes out. If that makes any sense, I'm really confusing myself. So it probably doesn't make any sense to you. But the item is beautifully packaged in a dust bag and it is Saint Laurent. Surprise, surprise. So when I had my whole Fendi debacle, I have to confess, I ordered, I ordered, well, I'd already ordered this, but I ordered two more of the Saint Laurent bags. One I've got on the floor next to me and one's coming tomorrow or Saturday, probably tomorrow. And you'll see, it's going to be a perfect alternative for me to the Fendi baguette. So let's go ahead and unwrap her. Oh my gosh, guys. It is a Lulu puffer bag in the color Crema Soft with the antique silver hardware. Now I've seen some of these where the hardware is actually a lot more darkened than this. I'm really relieved that I'm getting one that has kind of a less antique finish, but let me go ahead and get her unwrapped. Oh my gosh, guys. 
I love the brown one of these that I got, and I think the color is dark honey, but I love it so much. And so I thought, why not add more? I mean, I've been selling a lot. I'm I'm down a little bit still. I've got to sell. I've got to sell another couple thousand dollars worth of stuff. I don't know if I'll make it there or if that money will just come out of my bank account. But anyway, let me go ahead and see if I can get these strap protectors off because I haven't done that. I should have, I'll fast forward this for you. I mean, not like some people do where they're moving really fast because I don't know how to do that on camera. But if I'm not talking like I am right now, I'll go ahead and just take out the unwrapping so I don't bore you too much. That's generally what I do. I don't show you every little piece of tape that comes off of the packages. But okay, I've got the straps unwrapped. Now you'll notice that this is definitely more of a softer finish. It's definitely like an antiques finish. It's got the two brakes at the top. I, use, I usually call these leather bits. And it has those little stitches down the inside that bother me with some shirts, but I think as I wear the bag that that's going to get better and I'm not going to have any issues because this leather is going to soften up. Let me just examine her real quick. It's so beautifully stitched. And you know what? I absolutely love that for the glazing that they did for these bags, that they put the same color glazing on the edges rather than dark, because especially for a light colored bag, that glazing can sort of come off onto the bag, little tiny dots of it. And then if you try to get it off, you can end up taking the color off the bag, which is bad. And I haven't done that, of course, with a YSL bag, but I've had that happen with a coach bag and it made me really sad. So this is her beautiful Crema Soft Lulu Puffer in the Antique Silver Hardware. Just fabulous is she. Let's open it up. So there's the opening. You can look inside. It has one zipper pocket right here. It's hard to see because it's like a black hole. I actually have three organizers on the way. Oh my gosh, I just gave away that I got another one of these. Well, you'll still have to wait to find out what color. But I have three organizers on the way for these. You don't really have to have them, but they don't have any structure at the bottom. And unlike the small Lulu that's like the original Lulu bag, this style doesn't have a center divider. And so I feel like that means that this might end up sagging a bit. So I ordered the organizers. Plus it's just nice to have my card holders stuck in the pockets inside those organizers. Let me go ahead and try her on. So there she is on my shoulder, loving it. And then I had somebody ask me about these bags crossbody. I mean, they definitely were crossbody. It, it hits at a really nice spot on me. I'm 5'8", about 150 pounds, but I would tend to not wear this crossbody because I'd be afraid of banging it into something. And so for me anyway, the shoulder is the way to go. One little solution I found is if I am wearing a thinner shirt, I can just flip the handles over and have that stitching facing up. And I think I'm the only person in the world that that bothers but I can wear it like that if I'm wearing like a tank top and that doesn't bother me. But right now with this jacket on, it doesn't bother me anyway. I definitely think that this color is kind of a winter white. It's got some gray undertones and you can sort of see that with my top. My top's a little warmer and that's why I wore it just so you could kind of see the difference. Now on the website, they call this crema soft, but I have my doubts. Like I kind of feel like it could be blank vintage. Let me see if I can find any paperwork inside the bag. You would think that they would have the papers like in the pocket. Yes, they do. So all the St. Laurent bags come with this little booklet and inside of the booklet, and this is all sealed up. So I've got to find my way into it. I wasn't going to actually open it, but there we go. She's opened. So far, it's all just papers, nothing actually about the bag itself. Yeah, nothing about the bag itself. So it's just a booklet. I think if I remember right, I saw something on the outside of the dust bag itself. Or maybe it was on the outside of the box. I think that was it. Let me look. Yes, so it is Crema Soft. It is the Saint Laurent Small Puffer in Crema Soft. And then they fastened this tag on the outside of the bag or on the outside of the box. 
So rather than having the tags attached, they just attached the tag on the outside of the box, which is interesting. It says that this product can expose me to chemicals, including lead. I don't know why. Hopefully I will survive this unboxing well into my older years. But for now, I'm super happy with this beauty. Let me know what you think. I'm really liking it. And I like it so much, I might even have more coming. In fact, I already gave away that I might have another one coming. I really am losing it, but I'm getting a little bit of YouTube money now. And so I am spending a little bit of that on these fancy pants bags. I still love my coach though. And I have a coach unboxing coming up real soon. I'm Erin and I'm the Handbag Housewife. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Do it and ring the notification bell so that you are notified of future exciting content such as this. Also, go find me on Instagram. The name there is the same. It's the at symbol, then the handbag housewife, all lowercase. If I don't hear from you, I will see you again real soon. Take care and have a fabulous day. Bye.